If you feel like you're unsuccessful, it's because you are interpreting your life circumstances to feel and be unsuccessful. It's not unsuccess. Let's try this one. Say bismillah. Okay, bismillah. Yo, this is like a snow cone, bro. <laughs> what is it that you think you need in order to do something? Because the answer is you don't need it. Your resource for success, you possess it already. But just ask Allah to put barakah in whatever it is. Unlock the resources from your life. I wish I could be walking around right now. I just wanna, uh. But if you don't apply the barakah filled resources and stop it, nothing will open for you. You need to put in the work. You need to do it, right? Way of Life SQ. Keeping it a hundred. Alhamdulillah, we just made this happen, guys. As you can see, it is snowing, friends. I don't know if the snow tapping on the microphone is doing any ASMR vibes for you, but you know, it is what it is, guys. As you can tell, it is snowing here, in New York City. Alhamdulillah, Alhamdulillah for the snow. It's a, it's a beautiful and blessed time. Why? Because it's just frozen rain. And what do we know about frozen rain? What do we know about rain in general that has barakah in it? It's one of the best times to make du'as. So this entire video is going to be an entire du'a vibe for you. Okay? This video was going to be a bunch of stuff. I'll be honest with you. I thought about different topics. You know, like my my biggest thing is, and I, and and this is something that I've worked on. I've been trying to work on is what can give you value and I want to bring value to you and I, I want to bring it in the best way possible um, in the most efficient way possible but I, I want to bring you value um, and, and, and I was asking myself what does it mean to be successful and why aren't people successful but then I was also thinking about moderate Muslims and I wanted to talk about that but I'm not really sure I can tell you this though it's it's snowing right now and uh, I love you I love you sincerely and genuinely. Um, there's an iPad video coming out on Sunday, inshallah, a quizzing strangers about Islam for an iPad video. This one was a good one, right? Because it was a completely different vibe. You never know what you're going to get. Uh, I'm going to do one video, inshallah, about uh, Christmas, uh, quizzing, quiz, uh, quizzing kids about Christmas. Uh, for like a Nintendo Switch or something. And we're just going to be talking about Isa alayhi Islam and, um, you know, dis dispelling myths about uh, Christianity and Islam and so on and so forth, right? Um, so yeah, that's going to be a lot of fun too, inshallah. But it's going to be, I'm excited. I'm excited. The reason I'm telling you this is, is because I'm excited, you know? And uh, some of you might be like, SQ, how are you getting so much money? Where are you getting all this money from? Some of you might. Some of you might not care. Some of you just want to see the content. But others are like, yo, how's this guy doing it? Now, I'm not going to just sit here and tell you my success formula. You know what I mean? But if anyone knows me, you could contact me. We could talk about it. It's not a problem. You know, just because I don't know how many people would actually be uh, interested in this. Um, but I, I will say this. It's, it's really simple, but it's hard to do. Um, but it's not because I'm... Like, I was resourceful. The point is this, however I'm doing it, I'm resourceful to do it. Whether I'm borrowing money, whether it's, you know, someone is, you know, sponsoring me, whatever it might be, I'm finding a way to be resourceful to get it done. I hope that makes sense. The reason you're not successful is because you're not resourceful. It's simple as that. That's the reason you're not successful. You could turn off the video and just walk away and go live your life and just remember this mantra. If you're not successful right now, it's because you're not resourceful. Now, by the way, it's also because it's the Qadr of Allah, but it's also because you've made the wrong meaning of it. You think you're not successful because you've labeled it to be unsuccessful. Who's given you, uh, like, who's giving you, like, revelation that, that it, it's, it's unsuccessful? Who, who's giving you that? Who's telling you, like, are you getting some sort of, uh, you know, revelation from Allah Azza wa Jal? Na'udhu Billah, that somehow you're, you're unsuccessful? If you feel like you're unsuccessful, it's because you are interpreting your life circumstances to feel and be unsuccessful. It's not unsuccess. It's not. Something crazy happened yesterday. My, I'll tell you, right? My car, because it's snowing, the, 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 my, my driveway has a steep. It's snowing, so it's slippery and it's so cold. It's minus 4 Celsius for those of you who are interested. 28 degrees Fahrenheit. And uh, the car slipped slowly, skidded, and I come out. And my, my, my car is in the it's in the um, in, in the garage. It's in the bang uh, bent on the garage door. Now, alhamdulillah, the car is okay. The garage door is not so much. Alhamdulillah, though. Um, my first, you know, reaction. Oh, oh, oh my god! Oh my god! But that's not what I'm doing. If you're wondering, SQ today, you're awfully still. It's because my feet are buried. Hold on, let me see if I can. Oh no, I don't know if I can. I don't know if I can, guys. Oh, 
This is a big stretch for me right now. I'm out of shape. That's not good. Yeah, basically, I'm in a, in my, my snow is up to like my shin. And if I move around, it's going to go in my socks. And nothing is worse than worse uh, d uh, wet socks. You know, that might even be a punishment in the hellfire. Wet socks because it's disgusting, you know. But I believe uh, fire shoes are a, or fire laces. It, tell me in the comment section below if I'm not bugging out. Okay, <clears throat> there's a lot of snow. Um, the reason you're not successful is because you're not resourceful, right? And I want to give you examples and evidence for that. Just, just speaking out your, with no knowledge. Oh, eh, maybe, maybe, maybe not. I got my masoxic. Mm, it's frozen, subhanAllah. You can't even see it, but it's, it's legit frozen. That's black fuff from my coat. Okay, anyways. <coughs> Excuse me. <coughs> is it safe to eat snow? I'm about to find out right now. Okay, maybe not the first layer because, you know, wind and stuff. Earth. Bismillah. Let's try this one. Say Bismillah. Okay, Bismillah. Yo, this is like a snow cone, bro. <laughs> okay, my hands are going to get cold. You don't want the cold hands. Wet socks, cold hands. You don't want these things, you know. Everything else, alhamdulillah, is pretty warm, mashallah. May Allah increase this. Wallahi, there's people in, in countries that don't have jackets and stuff. They don't have, you know, and sometimes I'm thinking like, yo, SQ, you're raising money for the Qur'ans. Is that the most important thing to be raising money for? I do. I think about it, you know, because... Because it's important to put our resources in the right direction. You see? My thing is, like, if I can wake people up, I can't, I can't fix Palestine's problems on my own. You know the reason Palestine is not fixed? It's because not enough non-Muslims haven't caught up to this. If non-Muslims can be educated about Palestine, they would be upset. Don't think that the world is against Islam. People are ignorant about what's happening in the world. If people saw it, they wouldn't support it. They wouldn't. The pe people are good people out here, you know? Irrespective of their religion, their faith, there's something that Allah has put in us that, 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 that shows that our connection to him. And you may or may not recognize it. My battery might die on this too. Who knows? Right? And guess what? If it does, I might be become resourceful and, you know, take out my phone and record on that mic. Right? Remember when I was recording with my phone? Do you guys remember that? How many real ones out there? Do you remember when I was recording with my phone? Oh, it's on my koofy. It's on this. Maybe I might need to put my, my hood up. No, it's okay. It's okay. It's fine the way it is. It's fine the way it is. Remember when I used to record with my phone? Why? Because I was resourceful. I wasn't going to let my lack of resources stop me from being successful or doing what I want to do. You understand? Now apply that into your life right now. What is it that's stopping you? What is it that, thing, what is it that you think you need in order to do something? Because the answer is you don't need it. You understand? I want to give you an example of this. Okay. I want you to think about Musa Islam. Really think about Musa Islam. What was the resource that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala gave him? only and it wasn't even a resource that Allah like you know landed from the heavens it was a resource that Musa al-Islam already possessed that's important he had it already all the resources that you need to be successful you have already it's within you you got to do a DIY project you got to do something you got to life hack something how do life hacks and things happen when people become resourceful no 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 stay back stay back it's snow so I don't want my daughters to get cold feet you know, we protect our family, we protect our children. Allah, you know, gave revelation to protect His creation because He knows about an inevitability that He's created that we don't know about. So it's, it's he, he wanted to give us the heads up that, listen, guys, this is about to happen. This is going to happen. It's called the Day of Judgment. Wise up. Send us messengers so that they can vibe with us. We can relate to them. We can understand this message. Musa a.s. gets there has the stick. Allah puts barakah, blessings, and makes His own resource a miracle. And what does that resource do? It destroys, it destroys the religious like system within uh, Pharaoh's, um, uh, Pharaoh's uh, empire or whatever you want to call it. You know, my toes are getting cold, bro. My toes are getting cold. I might have to speed this up a little bit. My toes and my hands are getting cold, bro. Okay, okay, I gotta, I gotta see this. Okay, I gotta see this. Okay. Anyways, right? 
they come and these fools are using the, uh, the the magicians come and they're doing things like they would use like the new sciences right like alchemy and stuff like they, they knew basic sciences at the time that was so advanced they would know how to use dry ice and make things into smoke turn water into red they had the pharaoh even on his fingers they, they're showing him you know and guess what happens? They were advisors. They were chiefs, right? These are the people that Pharaoh goes to call in my viziers, call in them, and they would do some hocus pocus and show that, oh, your future is bright and blah, 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 blah. So even when those dudes came and they, they're, the Musa is some serpent, the, the snake that Allah SWT made this thing into, <laughs> it's a lot of snow, <laughs> into, guess what happens? It, it swallowed up their stuff. And even they knew like, nah, 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 nah. This is real. This is real. Right? That's that, that staff, right? Freed Bani Israel, freed a nation, a resource. It wasn't that Allah SWT could have done so many other things, you know, like there's so many other resources. But He gave something that Musa already possessed. Okay? Your resource for success, you possess it already. But just ask Allah to put barakah in whatever it is. When Allah puts barakah in something, there's no, there's no one, there's nothing that could stop you. You understand me? There's nothing and no one that can stop you when Allah puts barakah in things. And, and just remember that. So if you're trying to start a YouTube channel, you don't need some fancy camera. Allah can put barakah in your phone and the phone camera is good enough. You don't need a fancier laptop. Allah can put barakah in the older laptop that you have already. You need the correct intention, right? And I'm talking about like YouTube stuff. What about med school? You don't need all the latest books, the newest editions. No, you need barakah. You need the hajat. You need the hajat a lot. Yo, med school ain't easy, you know? You're trying to pass something, trying to achieve something, trying to do something. You need barakah in it. You need Allah's blessings in it. But you have the resources already. You just got to unlock it and ask Allah to unlock my resources for me. Allah, unlock the resources for me, Allah. I wish I could be walking around right now. I just want to, oh. Allah, unlock the resources for me, Allah. And Allah's going to open your doors. Wallahi, open them wide open. Just like the staff, wide open the Red Sea. Wide open the staff. But Allah even teaches us that Musa still had to put the effort in to use the resources. We have the resources. The barakah is there. But if you're not applying them, it won't work. Think about it. Musa could have got to the Red Sea and it could have just parted. Right? Allah uh, Musa could have just made dua. But no. The staff played a role in it. But if you don't apply the barakah filled resources and staff it, nothing will open for you. You need to put in the work. You need to do it, right? I pray that you guys benefited from this video and uh, enjoyed it and got a lesson from this. I love you all for the sake of Allah. My toes are frozen right now. My fingers are getting frozen right now. I got to go inside. I hope my, 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 my camera doesn't have water damage on it. Please, Ya Allah, protect our stuff. This entire video was a dua. Remember? This entire video was a dua. So I ask Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala to bless us and allow us to be resourceful and successful in this dunya and in the akhirah. You know, a, a third of the dunya, two thirds of the akhirah. Allah, that's what you've taught us. Allah, please, 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 please bless us. Please bless the community that's watching me. It's like they're in the snow too, Allah. It's like they're in the snow too, Allah. Please bless them. Please forgive them, Ya Allah. Bless them with everything that they need, Allah. They're, they're struggling. Allah, we're all struggling in our own ways. Help them. Ya Allah, help, help Allah. They have good intentions, Allah. They're doing it for good reasons, Allah. They're struggling out there too, Allah. Allow them to be successful, Allah. People who watch these videos aren't just in first world countries. They're in third world countries too. Or what we perceive to be third world countries, Allah. Give them the resources needed to turn their third world countries into first world countries by spreading the deen. Allah, that's the most important thing. Please, Allah, help us. Help us. We're nothing without you. We're nothing without you. Allah, please forgive us. Bless us, Ya Allah. 
protect us and have mercy on us. Everyone who's watching this, allow them to be successful. Forgive them. Forgive them, Allah. Forgive us, Allah. Forgive us. Uh, unite us, Allah. Make us successful, Allah. Allow us to be resourceful, Allah. Allow us to be successful, Allah. Allow us to change the world, Allah. Allow us to help our brothers and sisters, Allah. Everyone, Allah. Everyone needs our help. It's not just Muslims. Everyone needs our help, Allah. Allow us to save the world, Allah. Please give us the resource. Give us the strength. Give us the barakah that's needed, that's needed to save the world. Allah bless us, forgive us, guide us. Uh, may Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala accept from us all, have mercy on us all, and I love you all for the sake of Allah. Wassalamu alaikum. I'm out.